The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. First of all, the Prime Minister is imposing this carbon tax hike on all ten provinces and three territories. Six provinces will not get any rebate at all. And even in the remaining four, the Parliamentary Budget Officer has shown that the majority of people pay more in taxes than they get back in rebates. It's all been a falsehood. Furthermore, they haven't hit a single solitary climate target since they took office. And finally, it's a little rich for this Prime Minister to call little old ladies in rural Newfoundland and Labrador polluters for heating their home in the winter when he makes them pay for him to jet around and go to Costa Rica in the middle of the summer. Why won't he halt the high carbon, high carbon democracy? The right honourable Prime Minister. Position focuses on me. I will stay focused on Canadians. That's why we're moving forward with a price on pollution that puts more money in the pockets of average families, that doesn't help the wealthiest Canadians. And we know that the Conservative politicians on the other side of the aisle are always looking to give tax breaks and advantages to wealthy politicians. They still think trickle-down works. We're seeing across the Atlantic how that doesn't work. We have made investments in Canadians supporting those, uh, those most most vulnerable and those in the middle class, we will continue to. Why are they continuing to block dental and rental supports for low-income Canadians?